Hi guys, so today I am flying to New York, like first Beijing and then New York uh, this evening. So I had the whole, kind of like the whole morning slash beginning of afternoon to just figure things out and do whatever kind of way. I'll see Jacob, who just came back from New Zealand today, this morning, so he got in. I'm gonna see him and head out. Uh, yeah, living in, living him my bicycle. And then it's on the way to travel. So when I come back, I'm not gonna live here anymore. So that's the last time you see this place. All right. Let's get on with that day. So I caught up with Jacob. Uh, giving my bike for the next three weeks at least and yeah just walking back home it's not too far uh, yeah, just doing my stuff and I will then take the train get the bus and head to the airport just have to like clean up my place before I leave a bit weird just knowing that in about 30 hours a little bit more than that 48 hours I'll be in New York and it's gonna be cold which is actually good because it's getting too hot over here anyways let's go do that Since a travel vlog kind of thing, like travel vlogging and airplane and stuff, I'm gonna give you my tips, my personal tips on uh, if you like me are usually taking way too much and try to like reach the limit on like the luggage allowance and stuff like that. That's how I do it. And so far, only on my very first airplane, a very long time ago I just misread what was online and had to pay a bit too much but otherwise usually I just get it to the very limit of the allowance tip number one uh, the clothes you're wearing uh, sometimes you're going to a hot place it's not my case but I'm coming from a hot place so here I'm just wearing not much but once I get to the airport I'll be putting on a bunch of stuff, like kind of like the heaviest clothes that I have, like a jeans, that's Kevlar, that's pretty heavy, like motorcycle jeans. Definitely leather jacket, if you have a leather jacket and you're transporting a leather jacket, they kind of can be heavy, so try to not have it in your luggage, that way you free some space. And tip number two, again with the clothing. <laughs> I'm wearing my hiking boots. Wear the mo the heaviest, most comfortable shoes you have. Your electronics needs to be on your bag. So like that bag, usually it exceeds the allowance of the carry-on bag, but they never measure the weight of my carry-on. I've never had anyone measuring the weight of my carry-on. And since they don't want electronics to be in the check bag, I have to have that bag. Uh, also, one thing that in my particular case I all, I usually carry on is like my motorcycle helmet because I don't want to have it in my check bag and stuff like that. Uh, usually they don't even ask, they don't even care so far. It's, it's a shitty one. 
So if they if they're not okay with it, I can just leave it behind, you know. But I've never had any problem with my motorcycle helmet, so we'll see today how it goes. I have some other tips, but those tips gonna happen at the airport. So snacks, a very important part of any trip. Considering that I've had uh, like a 13 hour flight to Beijing, then eight hours stop in Beijing, then another 11 hour. I don't think I'm overpacking in terms of snack, but I feel like it's important to just buy a bunch of them before because food in airport tend to be tend to be overpriced. Even in the tax-free place, in the tax-free place it's either like too big or overpriced. Uh, don't take anything that will get stopped by security, anything liquid or anything too much, just a handful of it to just be able to handle the waiting part of it. Because in the plane you usually get a little bit of food if you're not too picky like I am. I'm not too picky so I, I, I eat the food in the plane, I don't mind, but while you're in the airport, it's important to have a bit of snack without having to like pay, I don't know, like sometimes five dollars for a little snack bar or anything. Here for five dollars I have a whole plate of thing. I'll compare in the airport to see if the duty-free place is actually good, but usually I take my own snack before from a place that I know that won't rip me off. All right, so now it's quite a bit of waiting. Uh, carrying those two bags, the snowboard bag that I recently got, that's pretty filled up, this thing and my backpack, uh, to the airport. The closest train station is about, I think a kilometer away, so not too far, but I'll still have to drag those bags up to the train station and then it's pretty much train station to train station and I'll get the bus from the other train station so good good situation here in Melbourne in terms of traveling and getting to the airport a bit expensive but like everywhere might actually be one of the toughest burden I've ever had to carry. So as I mentioned earlier, I tend to pack my stuff, so try to find one of these. If there is not any in the airport that you are, you can always try to find a check-in luggage desk that's just free and they'll let you probably wait your stuff before you get to the actual check-in because that way you're not like causing problems for the people behind you and stuff on the line. So yeah, just a quick tip, I should be fine. Alright, so there was a bit of a struggle at the check-in, but it's just because I changed passports since I got in the in, in Australia. So they had to match my old passport with my new passport. That took a bit of time. And yeah, just the luggage were both 24 kilos instead of 23, but they, if it's one kilo, they usually don't care and let it through. Uh, skateboard, uh, the big longboard bag is at the oversized, and now I need to pass through security pretty much in time, so no worries. forget one very important thing which is my water bottle is in the fridge at home well where it used to be my home and so that's 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 a rookie mistake
in China, Beijing. I'm at the airport, it's like 5 a.m. or something. And I have to decide, do I get out of the airport and visit? I only have like eight hours, which is a good amount, but I have like to carry all my stuff and everything. Or do I stay in the airport for eight hours? I kind of want to try to visit a bit. But will I have enough time? Because it's like a two hour, almost two hours to get to the city. I had one last tip when airplane traveling uh, before I leave is about those things. So I got like this pair of just headset that are like pluggable and everything. Usually I use the Bluetooth one, but in the plane to connect to the media thing, you can use those ones. Thing is, a lot of the planes, they'll have the double one. So the double one means that you have one connectors for the left side and one for the right side for the stereo thing uh, they usually provide some headset but if you don't want to use their headset for whatever reason and you have like a good a good one and everything what I suggest to do if you plug it in if you plug it all the way you only get one side because it's you know like stereo thing so you only get the but if you like half plug it so you can play a little bit and if it's half plugged, you're gonna get, basically it won't be a real stereo because you'll get, for example, the right side, but on both sides, basically. So you'll get the connector to just touch both of the part that it needs to touch. And you'll be good to go. Uh, I didn't get to the city. Uh, the process to get the visa and everything seemed to be way too long, so I'm not really worth it. Uh, but I had quite an experience also at security. So apparently that battery was like, they were like suspicious about it or something. It's quite a big one, but it's, you can fly with it. There was also this thing. It's like, it's like my, my plastic fork and knife just to like, eat on the plane not to use and not to have to use like uh, throw like throwaway ones and yeah just they seem to be very concerned about everything uh, it was also funny because all the security agents seem to be like I don't know very very young like beginning like yeah early 20s at, at the least so yeah that was a an experience so yeah know that Chinese security they're pretty tough they're like looking at everything and suspicious of everything anyways so it's about I think yeah, it's around 9 so I have still like three three hours I think yeah about three to four hours before I get to my plane, so I'm just gonna wander around this massive airport and try to know what gate I need to be at. So that'll be it for this one. I'll see you uh, on the way to New York in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.